Hi everyone, this is Silas and uh, I'm going to give you a demo of uh, creating an Android uh, structure in just CSS and I'm going to use the CSS designer which we have in our Dreamweaver CC uh, latest release which is called the Dreamweaver Creative Cloud and uh, we will just have a look at this uh, markup out here so I have uh, certain divs which I will be using for each of the Android uh, body parts so we will have a head we will have eyes and legs and hands so let's look at how we can quickly create this Android using the visual features which we have in CSS designer and I've already added a style tag uh, we can always you know create a CSS file attach an existing CSS file through the sources uh, section out here in the CSS designer so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, create some structure for the body and uh, make sure that you have the live uh, view on so that uh, you can see the live changes while you are actually trying to uh, get the exact width or the height or the margin for any of the various elements on your page so I've clicked the source so I'm just going to click on plus and for when I click the main body uh, I get these list of options so the first thing uh, what I want to do is give my Android some uh, width and I'm going to give it some height as well so for now I'm just adding 200 pixels we can uh, edit uh, visually on what is the width and what is the height which we want for it so uh, important thing is since we have a back uh, white background we need to give it some color so let me give it a green color and you can see uh, kind of a body structure out here and uh, what I want to do again for this particular uh, main body is I want to <coughs> make the position as uh, relative and I also want to give it some uh, margin all across so that uh, we are kind of in the center so as you can see the power of uh, the CSS designer and Dreamweaver that as you slide you can actually see um, the actual element moving on the page in live view uh, which I think is pretty powerful and you will get to know at the end of this demo why it is uh, so powerful so uh, what I'm gonna do now is um, for uh, the top and the left of this structure I'm, I'm just going to give it some uh, border radius in fact uh, I think if I if I remember correctly uh, we should give the border radius to the bottom left and the bottom right so we will go on to this border section and there we have this border radius so if I click uh, this link icon we can actually change the border radius for all four corners but since I want uh, just the bottom and the bottom left and the bottom right I'll just put in 10 pixels there so the next thing which I want to do is add the head so I'm just going to click on head and click on my style and add the head structure so uh, what I could have done is I could have duplicated this as well so what I'm going to do is just remove this to make things faster I'm just going to duplicate this and then add the header so as you can see as I type in the hash I can uh, it lists down all the IDs which are there in the main body so I'm gonna do that and uh, then what we have to do is place make this as absolute and uh, then um, basically I need to move it a little bit uh, you know on the top and decrease the height of it a little bit and uh, I will just remove the border radius as well uh, in fact I could have made changes there itself but um, these are all flexible things uh, the flexibility is always there with you to make those changes so let me just align the head and go on to my border section and this time I want to play around with the top so I'll just make this 77 pixels make this as well as 77 77 pixels and I have the head ready and uh, let's quickly start creating the hand and the uh, legs as well so I'll just click on the left hand and uh, click on plus so 
the left hand now uh, let me just quickly give it some uh, width and height and uh, maybe we'll increase this give it the same background color and uh, make this as well as uh, absolute so this is somewhere uh, out here and I, I can see that it's out here so um, let me take it on the left and definitely the hands seem to be quite thin and uh, let us increase the width for it and again take it on the left a little bit and uh, increase the height as well so the width maybe needs to be a little bit smaller take it again on the left so as you can see you have like full control over each of these elements and it's pretty powerful uh, what all it can let you do and uh, I would quickly add some border radius and this time I'm going to use the link icon because I want uh, the radius all around I just did that and you can see the change out, out there let's quickly duplicate this and change this to the right hand and uh, let's play around with this and take it on on the right and uh, now uh, since I want similar structures for the legs as well what I can do is I can duplicate this properties are going to remain the same so left uh, leg and the left leg again needs to come out somewhere um, so we'll just play around with this and make it go a bit top on the top and on the left and uh, let me just duplicate this as well and make it uh, the right leg the right leg needs to go a bit on the left so we have the android structure and the main thing now is creating the eyes and uh, let me click on the left eye and then click on the style and then add the left eye so the left eye is going to be of maybe 20 pixels height is going to be 10 pixels and uh, uh, I'll make this as absolute so that you can see where it is uh, we are not able to find it so let us give it some background so that we get to know where it is okay alright so with the background I, I can play around you can see that it's somewhere there and I need to take it out here uh, let me make it a white background and let me give it a border radius again so I think the width is a bit more so let me just reduce it and uh, again we use a duplicate and then do the right eye so I think this is the right eye which I want and uh, now I just need to use my positioning to take it out a bit uh, and I can always you know keep on refining this uh, let me go on to the main body and then increase the margin from the top so that we have some space for the airs and that's the last thing which we are going to add so we'll click on the left here in fact let us reuse our structures uh, or styles so let me go ahead and duplicate this and uh, I'll just uh, make this as uh, the left air and uh, I'll just move it a bit and obviously I need to decrease this and decrease this as well and I need to take it on the left a bit right so this is done and we need a right here and we will just uh, duplicate this as well now uh, we can actually use a, a transform rotate and to uh, make changes to this uh, make it look like the Android itself so uh, what I'll do is I'll just click on plus and we have um, webkit hyphen transform which we can use and uh, we will give this a uh, rotate of uh, minus 20 degrees and let's see what happens okay so this is on the wrong side so uh, for this we'll make it minus 20 and again for the left air we will make it as uh, webkit hyphen transform 
and uh, rotate uh, 20 degrees or in fact minus 20 so we are done with the android and uh, uh, as you can see it, it becomes pretty easy to using the CSS designer and this uh, whole uh, workflow where you can actually click on something and then visually scrub and make your changes to what you have on the design surface so this is pretty good and um, for uh, we not only have the android but uh, we can also make an apple so this I have created uh, somewhat looking like an apple but I want uh, uh, the the apple to look like it's uh, there is a bite which has been taken out here so I already have a bite out here and for the bite I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it like 100 pixels and I'm gonna give it a height of 200 pixels and give it some background which is like white uh, also make it absolute and then let me take it on the right a bit and I think we need to decrease the height take it uh, a bit out here and give it a border on the left which is maybe 100 pixels and uh, 100 pixels as well so as you can see we are able to you know play around uh, easily with whatever we have on the design surface and um, uh, the CSS designer has a lot of properties which lets you do all of this so I hope you uh, liked what you saw in terms of uh, the features which we have added the visual features and the visual way of uh, editing CSS and uh, which basically takes us to the next level uh, where we can concentrate on our design and uh, quickly uh, you know add CSS to uh, our web pages and to our designs uh, using Dreamweaver so I hope you like this demo and um, you can uh, I'll be sharing these files again on the blog on the Dreamweaver blog or you can uh, you know send me an email uh, when I upload this particular video on uh, YouTube itself so thank you for watching and I hope you liked the demo thank you